so what's up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here AK grace today we're gonna get into a new part of the legendary diversa collection as y'all see lovely tina's a fancy face here she lives here now she is taking residency you know like i should be charging rent because she's been here so long but no um we got our new collab from Odinside and it is of course with none other than Angelica in the Odinside which makes of course total sense she's Swedish she's a Swedish based brand I was like a next makeup corner with her and Tina and um Judy came out with their palettes I'm like so but where's Angie's palette like like how y'all got a really popular YouTube where you live and you collab with people over here with me but you know they, they got it together and they made sure they gave Angie her collab because I, I was waiting on it like the rest of the world um so I bought like I had to go to Vegas the day that this launched so I was thinking about man like I'm gonna miss out on it but thankfully I did not because the time zone was different in Vegas than it is in Chicago so when I got there it had only been like 20 minutes that the palette had been released and I was able to grab two now I did only keep one even though I did grab two my um best friend Jackie was watching the reveal video with me at work and she saw like the green shade and I think like um some of the pinks or whatever she's like ooh so then I just ended up getting her one which is why I ended up with two I did get the one that came with the scarf though so I do have the scarf this is like what it looks like I didn't put it on my head because I don't want to get it dirty with foundation and then like you all have seen you turn it this way and it has like the darker version on it so let's read what Angie had to say for us at this lovely palette here. Because as you can see, mine's still wrapped in the plastic. I have done nothing with it whatsoever. Other than taking out the box. Because both of them came in the box together. And I had to give um, Jackie hers. So for this palette, I had a vision of warmth. But still different color story that would suit both lovers of color and lovers of neutrals. I wanted to create a color story I myself wish I had in my collection. And that I wanted to share with you. Thank you for supporting this collaboration. I hope you'll have as much fun with this palette as I have had. Love from Odinzai and Angelica. So, let me go ahead and take mine out the wrapping. I didn't bring anything up here to like unwrap it with. So, we just gonna have to sit here and struggle bust it together. So, like, I can get it out the plastic. You think I would have, you know, like been a professional YouTuber and had it unwrapped already? But yeah, no. You know, I don't do anything professional here. I just kind of wing it. And y'all keep coming back, so I'm assuming that means you're amused by me winging it. I, I don't have any other reason for it. Now, the funny thing is, when this palette was like teased and they did like they did with Tina's and like Annette's and um, what do you call it? Uh, Judy's. Like, I already knew it was Angie's palette. I'm like, people were like, yeah, this doesn't look like Angie's color story. I'm like, y'all, it's Angie's palette. Why? Why? Who else would it be? Like, it's Angie's palette. Girl, just stop. People are like, yeah, this is a pretty color story, but I know it's not Angie's. So I'm like, then you all wrong. Even some of my friends were like, yeah, it'd be cool if it was Angie. I'm like, girl, it is Angie. And then when Karen put in the thumbnail her thing before, like they had actually revealed, I'm like, Karen, you gave it away, girl. I did as soon as I saw it as the best um collab palette ever, I already knew it was Angie. Karen just confirmed it for me. But um, here's what the inside of the palette looks like. Now, I understand why people say they didn't necessarily think this was Angie because I feel like there were a few more neutral tones in here and, you know, she's like me and doesn't really go for the whole neutral thing. But I'm feeling the AKA colors of it all with the, like, pinks and the, um, greens. I know she doesn't usually do colors like this that often, but I remember her doing, like, one of her, like, what do you call them? Um... Her monthly subscriber, like when you join, like the I forgot what it is, the Happy Clown Family or whatever. She did a look that had colors similar to this in it, so that's what like kind of sparked me when they had like blurred out the palette and I saw like these type of colors because I feel like she had did something similar with colors like this on one of those for the month. Now I'm not a part of it, but like she posts pictures like of the looks every month. So again, here's what it looks like on the outside, but like I just knew it was her. Like nobody had to tell me it was her. I didn't have to guess. Like if Odin's I had did like um Colourpop did for the NBA collection, I'd automatically won because I was like, it's just Angie. You ain't got you don't have to say nothing else. I just know it's Angie. Now we're gonna do the comparisons at the beginning of the video to get it out of the way. So because I have like three or four palettes I feel like well sorry two or three palettes I feel like have similar color stories. One I did make myself from the Melt Millennial palettes. I took the 420 shades out of it and then I add them to the Millennial Pinks. So to me, this seems like a combination of that. Like Millennial Pinks met um, the 420 palette that um, a lot of people are disappointed in. So this is what it looks like. This is the um, Flower Punk against Angie's palette. 
what they look like. Of course, Angie doesn't have mint shades in hers. She took more darker purples to make up for the mints and did like lighter, brighter green. So I figured they look similar enough so I would like show you both of them. I didn't bring her original palette because obviously none of the shades now are similar to this. And I was trying to show you stuff that looks similar to this, so I was like, let's be realistic. I'll show you the palette that I made last. The next palette I have, now these aren't exact. Like, I'm just trying to show you similarities in my collection based on stuff that I already have. Just in case you have some of the stuff. We have the Unearthly Cosmetics uh, Strawberry Milkshake Palette. Because this is immediately what I thought of when I saw her palette to a certain degree. So this is Angie's palette up against that one. That's what both of them look like. I'm so excited I can finally take this home because I've had it sitting here since I found out about Angie's palette because I wanted to show it. But at the same time, I was like, I kind of want to use it too because it's one of my favorite Alien Cosmetics, I'm sorry, Alien Slash Unearthly Cosmetics palettes. If you all have seen my ranking video, then you saw it. I have the Disney Encanto in Angie's palette. So, that's what both of these look like. My friend um, Jackie actually bought me this one for Christmas because I was looking at it and I was like, she's like, do you want to get it for you for Christmas? And I was like, no. And then like I DM'd her like, yeah, I changed my mind. I want it. So then she bought it for me. But they look somewhat similar to me. The battery's about to die. So let me show you this last one that I made myself and then we'll go off camera and give you an eye look. So, I made this palette from the Melt 420 and Millennial Pinks. And here it is beside Angie's palette. This is what both of those look like. So here's the first of three eye looks with the Hella palette. So what I did was I took basically the bottom row and then I took this pink and this pink and made the look we have going on right now. I'm loving how the inner corner is extra popping and vibing, but I still got that dark grunginess to it because y'all know I live for a good deep grungy moment. So we're going to start off with the shade, what is this? Suit, I believe that's how you say it. My bad if you say it wrong. Sorry if I say it wrong. I'm like, you say it wrong. It's, that was too early in the morning for me. And I know it's like 11.30, but when you get off work at like four in the morning, and you have to get up like four hours after that. And then I have to go drop off cakes for my mom and do all those stuff I normally have to do. So I'm just over here like, you know, dying inside. But the great thing is I don't have to go to work tonight. So I might come back and film the other two looks because I don't have time right now. My alarm's probably about to go up while I'm like winning his eye shut off. Just, I mean, out just because. You know, I always have something to do, like this lady asked my mom to make some cakes for her. Because if you all remember in other videos, I told you all, my mom bakes and people really love my mom's baking. So, like when she gets an order for cakes, I, you know, I'm the delivery man. Because you know how your parents volunteer you for stuff. Like, you know, I, I know other people who have these experiences. It's not just me. Your mom just be volunteering you to do stuff. And you be like, look, ma'am, you agreed to make these people cake? Why do I have to drive 50 miles to deliver it? But since the lady lives close to where my grandma is, I assume that's why she thinks I should have to drive the 50 miles to do it because I have to go to my grandmother's house to help her take care of it. So, here we are. Now I'm taking the shade Goddess, which is this pink one. I'm just lightly blending it all over my crease. So I really like this color gradient. And I just was in love with the eye look I came out with. So I did put two shimmers on top of each other and I'm gonna show you all which two they are in a second. I have them swatched on the back of my hand for when we got to that portion of the video. Look at me dry and be prepared and whatnot after I didn't have the palette prepared at all, unwrapped, I mean, anyway. <coughs> Let me take the shade Hella now, which is that light pink. And I just dusted it over all of what's going on right here. Just give a nice, like, extra dramatic effect. Plus, I just like the airbrush colors like this on top. It looks cool to me. I know a lot of people do it before. I like to do it after. And just build back up the middle shade. After I put the top. After I like cut the crease with the glitter glue and do, you know, the shades. So, that's what we're doing now. So, that's what I'm working with. Take my clean glam light brush and... When I forgot to tell you what codes you can use to buy from um, Odin's Eye. Now, obviously, you all know the codes won't work for this collection. They don't ever let you have, use codes for this collection. This collection was $43.90. I think she said just the palette was available and, like, the scarf went out of stock. I just always buy whatever scarf is with the palette. So, mine came with the palette, but she, I, if I remember correctly in the video, she said you could buy it separately. 
so maybe you could still buy them. Well, no, I think that part is even gone too. She said just the scarf in general was gone, so. Anyway, I'm cutting it with my, um, what is it? Um, okay, what is this brand? Um, BH Cosmetics Glitter Glue. Just cutting the lid out, and then I will reinsert the pink and the dark. This on my out of V later. I'm just about, my alarm hasn't gone off yet. Now we're gonna take the shade Complete. That's the shade I started off with underneath to get that deep, dark black base we got going on. So I'm just patting it in. I'm using an open side brush funny enough to do this. on top of glitter glue to make it as pigmented as possible but you know their shimmers are always amazing and their masks are pretty nice and blendable sometimes they're like a little too soft like in the saga of Freya Cat's Breath like I used that palette a couple of days when the orange was like really soft in there so sometimes there's oranges their um shades are quite soft but this palette I'm not feeling like they're like super soft like I feel like saga of Freya um Cat's Breath is though uh there's the alarm so I might have time to do one more eye look, but I feel like I'll be pushing it with that one, so I might just have to come back and do two eye looks for that tomorrow, and then the other palette I planned on doing. Mm -hmm. So I'll have like, I'm trying to make it to where I only have two videos tomorrow, not three like I did today. So, but technically I guess it wouldn't be three if I'm still going to have to do more looks with this palette. It'd be like, I guess two and a half, and then I'd be finishing up the video. Mm. Anyway. So for the inner quarter, we use the shade double sided. Oh wait, no, I didn't put the top shade. So what I did was I put river on top of this one. And that's where you got the extra blue, purple shifting um, shimmer to the lid. As you can see, it just brightened it up quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit, but it brightened it up, which is what I wanted. I wanted a more brighter effect on the lid. So after I put that dark shade down, I just put this on top to give it that extra pop, if you will. So that's what I'm working with. Now I'm going to put the shade double sided in the inner corner. And this is the fish I look for number one. I need to wipe this off over here because I put out my eyeshadow part a little too low. Put on my wing, then I'm gonna go take my look me. I think I'm sexy selfie. If anybody's curious about my lip color logo, I do have on the um, Makeup by Mario lipstick in the shade, what is it, Nudie Pink? I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. I already have it sitting out. I have Nudie Pink, and then I have the new um, Tower 28 lip gloss and pistachio on top of it. They're really similar in shade, which is why I chose to use both of them. So this is what both of them look like. This is Pinky Brown, and then this is Pistachio. And y'all know their lip gloss is still amazing. I definitely needed it because I had just done a lip swatch video with all these lipsticks. And honey, my lips are just crying, pleading, and, you know, yelling at me inside. Anyway, I'm going to go off camera. I'll take these look at me. I think I'm sexy pictures. Then we're going to come back and try to get into two more eye looks. I don't know if they're going to be today or tomorrow. So the makeup might look different. But, you know, we're going to do two more eye looks, okay? Okay, y'all. So look number two, I tried to make somewhat soft and peachy. I put the shade I put in my inner corner on the lid this time. So let's get started. I used the shade... Hella, Wolf, Goddess, Hellfire. So I basically did what I did the last time, except I used a different row. So I used all of this row this time, and then I used this shade right here, all over the lid this time, as opposed to on our um, inner corner. So let's get started. Um, I'm taking Goddess again, and this time it's our outer V shade, because it's deeper. That's the one thing I always appreciate about Angie's palette. I know I'm gonna get those dark, deeper, grungy shades, or I'm gonna get some darker shades I need to put on that to be like I need this pink to brown the rest of this look with this lighter pink that I put in the crease and um made this nice little look with so I, I appreciate that she always thinks about that and makes sure that is in a palette but to me that's important I know to her it's important I know to Karen it's important like some of us actually want you know like deep outer piece I don't want just a simple look if you will I mean I feel like this is a pretty simple look that's easy to achieve and I want to make sure I did one of those too. I'm trying to debate if I should give y'all a neutral look or not or if I should just stick to doing a green look. And then I do a neutral look when I have to rush to work one day with the palette and you can see one that way. Because I'm like, 
Y'all know me, I'm not just for a neutral look. That's not who I am. Oh crap, y'all, I did this wrong. I was supposed to put the, um, the shade, what shade is it? Um, I was supposed to put the shade Wolf first. Oh, and mind you, while I was um, um, filming this video, I found out that Angie's palette had sold out, so. Congrats, Angie, this palette is sold out, so you have to wait for the restock. Cause remember in her video, she said they were going to have a restock. And like the first um, Diversa collection, this one will be restocking. So keep a lookout for when you can get a restock on it. I'm just trying to give you some ideas for the people who already were blessed enough to get the palette. And you know, yeah, but it is sold out. So don't don't be looking for it, girl. Oh, I said it's gone. I was literally driving to go drop off the cake I told y'all about that I was supposed to do, which is why I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do all three of these looks today. And that's when I found out it was sold out. So I'm like, great, I, I'm filming a look for a palette that's already sold out. So it doesn't matter when I put this video up, I guess, since you know, it's already sold out anyway. But I plan on trying to put this one up on Friday, which would be tomorrow. I know Darius's video is going up today on his palette. I know I'm like, gonna be behind with that y'all probably gonna get it tonight instead of at 12 o'clock like so soon my bad but um yeah stuff happened girl or I might just wait and put his up Friday put um Angie's up Saturday and put the other one up Sunday so I won't have to rush myself on editing it tonight and doing all that I feel like I think I am but the only reason I wasn't gonna the only reason I was gonna do Darius's today and then the other one tomorrow is just in case you want to do this place so I could put that one in Saturday and then Sunday you all could see my um Lip swatch video, so look at this color, like it's stunning. Y'all, I forgot to put the pink down on my crease before I started with this. Lord, this will happen when I don't get enough sleep because y'all, I literally got home from work, went to sleep at like five, got up at like eight, staycation in school, drove out here, and started doing what I'm doing now. So I've literally been up since eight and only had like about three hours of sleep. so I'm sorry, like, I'm over here just doing all the stuff. I'm um, like, it's supposed to be a pink crease. It's everything else. I'm really loving this shade. This dual chrome shade is really, really nice. Let me get the shade hella now and do what I was supposed to do in the first place. Sorry, I'm telling y'all. This is what happens when I don't get enough sleep. I, I'm trying to tell you. Like I said in the other video before this one, like they say women are supposed to get more sleep than men. So it's like the fact that I, you know, always get less than I'm supposed to get as a general rule, which is the eight hours, it's not a good look. It's okay. I feel like the look will still turn out the same though. I don't know though, since I um, had cut the crease over um, the pink, not the way I'm doing it on this eye. So sorry, but like I said, this is what happens when I am sleep deprived. But Friday, I have to take Adrian Bim over to the movies. I promise to take him to go see Uncharted because he like, he's a Tom Holland fan because, you know, he's Spider-Man. So I have to go do that. So I was like, I need to make sure this is done today and then the other two I can do while he's at school so that way I don't try to, like, burn out and overwork myself with that. And I got to go home and do, like, work for my actual job because um, we got some new stuff coming up there and I have to, like, train for it. So I'm going to go home and do that, um today or tomorrow I might just do a Saturday but I have to go back to work because I only have Thursday and Friday off so they're looking pretty even I feel like the pink on this side is a little like further up but otherwise I feel like they're looking pretty nice I might just add a little bit more on here but this is pretty much a finished eye look let's go ahead and put this in a corner color in girl which is hellfire excited about the last look which is going to be the green and I got to figure out which greens I want to pair with what but this is your other finished eye look I'm going to do the wing and all that other stuff off camera to save us some time because like I said I still got to go pick Asian game up from school so I'll be back with the green look okay y'all so I thought I just, ended out with a halo eyes so I just did a halo eye with a lot of the different green and turquoise tones not turquoise but deep forcey I use turquoise greens in the palette so I'm starting off with the dark green shade. I'm gonna go ahead and make a halo shape with it. And these are, uh, this is the color ring um, blending brush from the blending brush that they gave me for free when I bought the um, the Chic palettes. So I'm so glad we used to buy them instead of like buying them like 
right away because I wouldn't have got the deal that I got with all the new brushes to try because I had been wanting to try the eye brushes for a while but I was like I have so many brushes that I always um, use regularly that I couldn't like make myself like the bullet but when they were like they give you the free brushes when the eyeshadow purchase and I hadn't bought them yet I was like yes sold so that's how I ended up with these brushes and then just taking the main part of that right here and up into the crease I don't know what made me decide I need to do a halo with this particular look, but I was like, I think it was because there's so many greens to choose from, and I wanted to just choose between all the greens, so I was like, I'm going to just go ahead and do a halo eyes, and that way I only have to choose, like, one shimmer and a couple of mattes, and I don't have to make <laughs> hard decisions. Um, let's see, I'm going with the shade, what should I use? Oh, so I went in with the shade Decay on top of, um, this part right here, and kind of airbrushed it over the top of the, the turquoise shade we have on the lid, I mean, in the crease, I mean, uh, all over the eye for the halo, Jesus. So I kind of did it like this and just went everywhere, kind of messily, because I ended up putting another shade on top of it, so I wouldn't really concern about the placement of this one. And I ended up having to build back up the turquoise a little bit, but, you know, it's cool. that now I go in the shade underworld on top of that one to kind of have like that murkyish but I wanted like some depth to it not just super bright but at the same time I still wanted some brightness so that's why I start off with the decay shade if y'all haven't noticed like I like to layer shades a lot like in the last in the first eye look we layered two shimmers and this look we're gonna layer two shimmers like I just like layering so okay let me know I'm dusting this under this now so we can get the airbrush effect type look I was going for. I'm gonna take a clean brush and dust over all of this stuff here. So as you can see, it's starting to come together now. So, um, take a little more of the blue for up here. I'm trying to put a little bit of that color back because I feel like some of the decay you got on there and you don't. And I don't want that, I want you to mainly see like the turquoise shade and then the decay can stay with the um, green shade that I chose. To put all the lid, it can stay there. Um, brush, I need to use that. Did I use this one? Yes. So yeah, I'm trying to figure which brush I used and which one I didn't, so I can take all of them downstairs to be washed. I think I'm gonna have enough time to wash them before I leave, but if I don't, I have to wash them tomorrow when I come to do uh, the two other videos I need to do. So we just take the glitter glue now and just I try to take it over a little bit so that way it could be layered back and airbrush up to give a nicer look with the glue. So as you can see I'm pulling the glue further than I need to so I can cover it up later with the mat and give it a more even tone. So I start off with the shade Golden Bridge and so this is Golden Bridge mixed with fluorescent. This is Golden Bridge mixed with Venom, which is what we're gonna put on our lid. This is, um, what is it? I think Golden Bridge mixed with flu fluorescent, and this one is mixed with Venom, and then this is just um, fluorescent on its own, and this is Venom on its own. So we're gonna take Golden Bridge to start off with, and tap it and blend it all over the eye. Then as you can see, you can see the difference in this one because I feel like this one looks brighter than this one because we added Venom on it. So we're going to add Venom now on top just a little extra oomph. But I feel like it just gives a little extra oomph that um, Golden Bridge just doesn't do on its own. It's that extra bit of limey sparkling I was looking for. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely see the difference. Add the rest of what's left on the brush with... Um, Venom onto this eye. Now I'm gonna go back in and deepen up. And kind of like smooth out the edges of where we added on so it doesn't look so obvious. Okay. 
and then go back in with Underworld again because I feel like the intensity of it is dying down a little bit. I don't know if it's because of the shimmer I added to it, it makes it kind of bright or what, but I want to bring it back, so bring that back. Now we have to go in with our inner corner shade. So the inner corner shade we're using is fluorescent, so that's that bright um, green that I showed you all, which is why I showed it to you, because we put it in the inner corner. So, I'm going to do my wing off camera. We're going to talk about this palette and how I feel about it. So, back on up, girl. Let's tore it up. It's close. No, um, <laughs> so... I must say I really like the palette. Um, I wasn't surprised though. Old Zai has great quality. Y'all know that I have been reviewing Old Zai since I think like their second or third palette. I don't know what palette the Soul Main is. I believe the Soul Main is the second one and I believe Frail was the first one. So yeah, it, um, I've been riding with the brand for quite a while now and I usually love everything I try. And this is no exception. This is a gorgeous palette. I think this would be a great companion palette to go with other palettes. Like, I can see myself using this palette with um, Annette's palette or Tina's palette. I think I have not What did I put Annette's palette? I think I already got Annette's palette put back in the bag. But I feel like this would go good with Annette's palette and Tina's palette. Because of different color stories. Like, if you want to add to the grungier shades at the bottom and with these greens at the top, you can use Annette's palette. If you want to have fun pinks to add with Tina's palette, you can use this palette. So, I feel like they will go great together. And I want to do looks with all of them together for the people who do have them. Because y'all know, if y'all haven't noticed lately on Instagram, I've been doing a whole bunch of palette mashups. So, I feel like this would be good to add to my rotation of my palette mashups. And I am happy to have it in my collection. So I think it's great that Angie gave us another um, wonderful collab with another wonderful brand. And um, I'm excited to use this palette a whole lot more. So I recommend the palette when it does come back in stock. Because like I told y'all when I did the second look, they say it's out of stock. So once it comes back in stock, I would definitely recommend that you get this palette. Because it is a great palette. If you like the color story, it'll be great for you. If you want to support Angie, it'll be great for you. Because I know a lot of people ended up getting this collab because they weren't able to get the first one from um, Kaleidos. I was uh, blessed enough to be able to get both. So I have both in my collection. I think they are like give two different looks. But I feel like it might be a good companion for with that one as well. I will do all that type of stuff on Instagram later on tonight. Show you her palette with um, Annette's and Tina's. And then show you her palette with her original palette. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed girl. Bye.